Hello, my lovely friends. How are you? I am back with a journal process video, and this one has a bit of a sewing theme. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen a picture of this journal spread. I did it a few weeks ago, and I apologize, but it's taken me ages to actually get it edited and post it up here. Anyhow, I am working in my B6 art journal that I got from Documented Journey. And uh, what I've done to prep the page is put sewing pattern paper on top of it first with matte medium. Now this is legitimate sewing pattern paper. I bought it years ago to sew these cute little outfits for my kids and I totally never sewed anything because I, I'm crap at sewing to be honest and it was just never going to happen. Anyway, so I had this paper and the perfect thing to do with it is art journal. And now I am rocking my current absolute obsession, which is this J Davenport Mermaid Marker in Beach. The color is Beach and it is just rocking my world. I am so obsessed with it. Like this video was shot a couple of weeks ago. This Beach Mermaid Marker is now totally empty. What I'm doing here is I've pulled out all the supplies out of my stash that I feel might work with this spread. So any colors that I think are gonna to work together in whatever kind of medium it happens to be. So like I just start using pretty much everything. Yellow Prisma color. This is a paint over pen in beach also. How amazing is this beach color? Clearly Jane is obsessed with it too because she keeps making supplies with this beach color. And this beautiful shade of pink blush from Tombow as well. It's gorgeous. But I definitely need to darken up the lines, so I'm using a brown Prismacolor pencil to do that. And I want to give the feeling that this is fabric, because it is fabric. It's like supposed to be lace. So that's why I'm cross-hatching with a little bit of pink there to give this fabric feel. So onto the scissors. Back with the blue cornflowerish Tombow marker. I love this because, you know, you, you get the control but it's a watercolor. It's got a lovely washy feel to it. I really like it against the beach color. They're so nice to use, the brush pen side of these Tombow markers. And back to the brown pencil. Guys, this brown Prismacolor is actually burnt umber, and it is one of my most useful used colors. I have several of them on hand because it, I find that it's the perfect color for molding dimension, for giving shadow. It's just, it's just a beautiful, earthy tone that seems to work with everything. I love the way that these supplies all mix together. So there's a bit of pink this is actually Albrecht Dura, it's cinnamon. And it's such a gorgeous color. And together, I'm using the paintbrush and the water mixing with the Prismacolor and the watercolor pencil and the Tombow marker all together. I feel it's giving it, like it's making it kind of dirty. They're mixing together and I really like that. It's giving it a real kind of metallic feel. It's good, I'm into it. Guys, I am gonna put on some music now for the rest of this video while I hit these buttons with some mermaid markers. Also, you should know that if you love this piece of art or you feel like it inspires you, you are now able to go over to my Etsy store and get a printable, downloadable version for yourself. I will put a link to the shop in the info box below. I hope you are enjoying this video and I will see you guys soon, bye.